main object of this function is to take two integers in passing by value style and tries to exchange va its their values here we have taken a temporary variable t in the function x value is assigned to t and then y value is assigned to x and then t value is assigned to y In the main, we have declared two integer variables m and n and their values have been read. Now, the function swap is being called. m and n are sent as arguments for this function. That is, m value 12 and n value 7 will be going into the function that is this function call is passing by value style thus m value and n value only will be going into the function now after the function call we try to print the m value and n value with the help of this printf statement we wanted to really simulate how the function call takes place. Already we understood that whenever we call a function, the memory, whatever required for the variables, that is the actual formal arguments and the scratch variables inside the function, for them memory will be allocated. In our function swap, we are having two formal arguments known as x and y. Thus, when we really call the function, memory for x will be allocated and then y will be allocated and also for the scratch variable t also memory will be allocated. Thus, you can find in this slide that uh, the memory for the variable x will be allocated first. Now memory for the variable y will be allocated. Mind it, the x value will be 12, y value will be 7 because we are sending m and n values from the function main program thus x value becomes 12, y value becomes 17. Now the scratch variable t for that also memory will be allocated and at the same time x value 12 will be assigned to this t variable the same you can see in the table now y value that is 7 will be assigned to x thus x value becomes 7 now t value that is 12 will be assigned to y thus y value becomes 12 already we understood that when we come out from the function that is program execution when it tries to come out from the function whatever memory is allocated for the variables that is for the actual arguments and scratch variables they will be that will be deallocated thus in this example when we come out from the function the space for the variable t will be deallocated now the memory which is used for the variable y that will be also deallocated. Now the space which is allocated for the variable x that will be also deallocated. That is in totally uh, whatever memory allocated for the variables when this function call is being made that entire memory will be now deallocated. Now we are only having the memory which is uh, related to the main function. What are the values of this m and n after we return from the function? They are just the same as their original values that is 12 and 7. m and n did not get changed at all. That is because this is a passing by value style. No doubt 
some actions have taken place, but really they have not taken place on the memory of these variables m and n. Rather, they have taken place on the on their copies, that is, the variables x and y of the function. But however, their scope is over. That is, when we call the function swap, x and y got uh, initialized and their memory will be also allocated. But when we come out from the function, their memory will be deallocated. Now what we are having at our disposal? Only the memory of these variables m and n whose scope is only main. Thus, their values are still their original values. That is the main, main characteristics of the passing by value style of uh, arguments passing. That is, now m and n, even after the function call also, their value did not change. That is because it is a passing by value style we have written the function. If we really wanted these two variables values to be exchanged in the function and see the modifications in the main program, we shall try to find out an alternative program that we will come across when we discuss about the pointers. main object of this function is